Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Church of the Palms Daily Devotion for today. I'm glad we meet this way. As always, let us begin our devotion by clearing our minds and heads by listening to beautiful piano music. Our scripture for today is Psalm 148, Psalm 148. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise him in the heights, praise him all his angels, praise him all his host, praise him sun and moon, praise him all you shining stars, praise him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth. You see monsters in all deeps, fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth, young men and women alike, old and young together. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise all his faithful. Praise for all his faithful. For the people is of Israel who are close to him. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Praise the Lord is how this psalm begins. And also that is the same way that the psalm ends, saying, praise the Lord. The psalmist tells us who gets to praise the Lord. Why do we get to praise the Lord? That's all of us, God's creation. Praising God sounds like an easy thing to do, but it is not really at times. At times it is very difficult to praise God in our lives. We are human beings. Sometimes our lives get very difficult. We get seriously sick. Our loved ones get sick or die. We lost jobs. House got destroyed by a storm or fire. We get bullied at school. A, wait a waitress would not wait on us because of our look 
or skin color. How can we praise God in awful situations like that? Those were only to name a few. There are many other difficult times in our lives that is very difficult times to praise God. I would like to share my family's story. The very first worst thing that ever happened to us was the day my little brother Richard died. That was in 1976, when Richard was only four years old. He died of leukemia. He had already been suffering from it for two years. My mother was totally angry at God. She was so angry at God that she lost her mind for a whole year. She was so angry at God for taking her young son away. Her grief was so deep that she couldn't bear it. My father, on the other hand, thanked God and praised God for Richard's life. Short as it may have been, my father thanked God for Richard's life, that what it, he, life and what he had meant to all of us and how he had been a gift to all of us. And my father also praised God and thanked God for relieving Richards from such a terrible disease called leukemia and for granting him an eternal healing. My father's heart was broken in small little pieces as it was my mother's. But he continued to praise God with tears and broken heart for the son that he had received from God and lost back to God. I once asked my father, as I was only 16 years old, how can you praise God at a time like this? My father said very simply, because the Bible tells us so. My father said, trust God and God's love and be faithful. Give thanks to God at all situations, even if you don't feel happy about it. I remember saying to my father, Ole, that means yes. It is so very easy to praise God and thank God at times when our prayers are answered exactly precisely the way we want God to answer them. And happy times and times of blessings and goodness and good things that happen to us. But it is not always, life is not always like that. Even when life is difficult, we would be good to be able to remember to praise God and thank God. But the psalmist encourages us to do so. Let us hear this psalm again. See if you can have some images in your mind's eyes as you hear it this time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his host. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, you highest heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He established them forever and ever. He fixed their bounds, which cannot be passed. Praise the Lord from the earth. You see monsters in all deeps fire and hail, snow and frost, stormy wind fulfilling his command, mountains and all hills, fruit trees and all cedars, wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all rulers of the earth. Young men and women alike, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has raised up a horn for his people. Praise all his faithful. Praise for all his faithful. For the people of Israel who are close to him, praise the Lord. Let us pray. We give you thanks, O God, for the scriptures like Psalm 148. Teach us and help us to know how to praise you in all situations of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.